Well, I'm Ranger Kooky, and I'm doing a night test of the Fluka. Um, I just want to show you the, the, the heat. I finally got the feeder on. Okay, I did just, I made mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes here. Robin laid an egg. One, make sure you measure how high you want your gravity feed to be. Then make the holes to fit the height. So you don't have to put this on 50, 50 things. Let's see, uh, I got it on a bucket, then I got it on a milk crate, then I got a, a smoker, then I got a bucket, then I got the feeder. So I made a mistake here. So, not to make the mistake, get your tripod made first, put your feeder on the tripod, then make your hose line to the feeder. Now, I got it going. It had a little hard start getting going, but I got it going now. So, I should have hot water in a few minutes. Let's see what happens. Um, maybe I have to open a feeder a little bit more. Just a crank. And see what happens um i should try to put the damn thing back onto the co hangers at the bottom but i skipped that and the start because i thought it'd be still on it but it came off somehow somebody hit this thing and moved there a couple times and it it now i got these uh tripods on it so it won't fall and i gotta have those tripods just right or melt the tripods so I got three tripods on it. So at the end of result, we'll see if it's too, yeah, it's flaming down there. I don't know if you can see that. I got a flame down there. I should have water running. It's not running yet. Let's see. I had hot water, but this is the feeder. And let's see. Okay, I hear water behind me. Now we got water coming out right here. It's cold because I just pumped the hell out of it. And that water is not hot yet. I mean, I got hot water earlier. It's just got to feed that water for a while and get those pipes hot. Let's put that in here. Okay, now my feeder's on, you see a flame right there. There we go. I think I need to go back to the original Fluka design, the smaller pan, because uh, most of the oil was coming out. I had to really repair, like, like I said, you make sure you seal it good or you will have oil on the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can touch these pipes. Hot, cold. Hot, cold. Now I got the feeder on, so, and I have to make shift, and I'm, I'm wasting oil here. So, I wanted to put it in this thing here, this tank. I found that in the trash. And I'm gonna put a line on it, put a hole in the back, and put the line here. And that'll be my tournament feeder for this fluke, uh, for the fluka. I do believe I have to make a new fluka because that one don't is not sealed right. But I do got flames down there. You see, you see in there, nice flames. Now it's not hot like I thought it would be. I think it's the fluka size. That's like five inches compared to the first fluke I made, which melt aluminum. So we're gonna do a test. I know the water's coming out hot now. Let's take a look.
The water is cold right now, but that pipe is hot. So around the, the flame itself, it's pretty hot. Let's pump this. And over here we should have, it's right now cold water. But it's still got, it's still got a flame. You can see flickering. Then if you want, you can take your little cup and dip it with oil. And you pour that right into your fluker. Now if that's how hot it's supposed to be, I think this is the fluka, the the bottom fluka. They got the top fluka and the bottom fluka. And I think the bottom fluka is too big for this project. I need a smaller fluka. So I have to rebuild the bottom part. Plus there's a lot of waste, so I have to seal it. I got water. This is cold, like ice. And this is hot. So this whole pipe has to warm up and it's gonna take a few minutes to do so. That's how it's supposed to run. I think I need a smaller fluka. The, uh, the stuff is at the, it's too big. I have to make a small one. So project is going well. It's just the, the bottom fluka, it's not working and it has to be better built and sealed right. Now I got, there we go, I got flame at the bottom. So this thing's gonna get hot now. Oh yeah, it's smoking and it's hot. That's what I want, I want all that oil to burn. I don't care if it burns, it's all metal, it's not gonna melt. Now that's how it's supposed to run, like that. I'm looking for my original fluka. I think the dogs took it and ate, and ate this son of a bitch. I don't know. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see you later on with the results. Here's the update for the Fluker rocket stove. The um, I'm getting hot water now. Well, not completely hot water, but I'm getting water. It's nice and warm. It's getting hot. Um, the feeder is doing well also. Okay. Now the water should run. It should not. It won't. It, I have to find a way. Yeah, this water is nice and warm. It's 70 degrees. The Fluka feeder. The feeder is working well. Um, my fire is still going. Um, I had to rebuild this because it's not sealed right. But I didn't want it in this thing. I wanted it in a, a, a tank. I wanted it in that thing. So it's like leaking really bad on top of this. But I'm doing that test first. But it, it's doing well. Listen to it. So the feeder, the feeder and the water heater, yeah, water heater is working well. Now I just have to fine tune the feeder where it don't leak, like it's leaking now. Make the hose shorter, make the hot water part longer and the cold water shorter. So that's my tweaks to the Fluka. I'm gonna want to show you this thing while it's uh, at night so you see you can't see it right now but it's blazing you can hear it
French fries and toast. So it's it's doing really well now. I'm getting a nice hot water or water. Whoop, well, it stopped again. I mean, the pressure on this thing got to keep. I think there's a kink in the line. If I got a kink in the line, it's not gonna pump well. Let's see. Let's take let's take take a look. Uh code. Code. Getting warm. Code. 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 This one right here. Getting warm. This is getting warmer. And this is a little kind of cold because that's the longest. That's cold. Like I said, from the ice chest to the heater must be short. It's too long. I need that closer to the heater, shorter line. This lower and shorter line. Two flaws I, I, I did so far. Didn't know. Now I know. Don't make the mistake I did. Didn't seal this right because this is a test can. And I didn't fix that right, so that's, I might keep it, I might, I, I might just make another one and see what happens. Let's see if I got more heat. So this is a very good test. It's working like I want. So, uh, in a few minutes, this whole area should be warm with hot water. Well, the water going through. And this water stopped again. Why did it stop? I got something clogged. Okay, I got water coming over here. It just keeps stopping for some reason. It's cold because it's not running. And plus I pumped a lot of water. Okay, it's running now. Somehow I have to find a way of recycling that water to make it hotter. So it keeps the place warm. If I keep pumping cold water and not the hot water, I have to find, like I said, I have to find a way to get that water back into the tank and go back to the heater to get better, hotter water. That would keep my camp warm. That's the theory. Okay, it's it's kind of it's getting kind of warm. Listen to that baby roll. Oh, it's cold again because I pump water that's gonna be cold all right so don't make the flaws I made try get do it right the first time when you make your feeder make sure you put it the height you want then make the, the hose didn't know the long hose from the water tank to the heater is gonna make any difference but it does I could use that longer hose to make it hotter because past this hose which is the hot water and this is the cold going in going in coming out this is cold this is hot I mean both of them cold right now so I need to get it hotter all right this is the update for the fluka and I think I have to make that bottom fluke apart smaller. So that's my third, I think it's my third mistake, is the bottom fluka, the fluka stove, the fluka, I don't know, I'm gonna give names to some of these things. This must be smaller. I'm gonna make one now. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I think I made my test. I made everything what I need. I just have to tune it. Watch this, I'm gonna put this little cup of Burnt more ore right in there. Five, four, three, two. Oh, wait a minute. You got no flame at the bottom? Oh, shit. I wonder why I don't get no hot water. All right, well, a couple of reasons why I'm not getting hot water. 
The top fluke part is off. And I'll catch that and fire real quick. That's what's wrong. I need to make the bottom, the fluka, not this, the bottom fluka, or the stove. We're gonna call that the stove part, not the uh, top part, the fluka. The stove part needs to be smaller, and I want to make everything tomorrow and be the final test for this damn thing. Now that thing should be full with oil to the top, and I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this off. And see if we can save some oil because I did my test we don't need to do no more tests I'm finished with test I should have plenty of hot water now let's we'll see it's getting hot boy that pipe is getting hot yeah buddy all right, the stove needs to be smaller. The holes for the feeder needs to be smaller. The tank to the, st the to the heater needs to be smaller. That was my flaws. Do not do the same thing I did. Now I have to work on how to get this water back into the tank. Maybe go to a tank and it pumps into another tank. This is going to be a bit, big bitch. All right, our Ranger Cookie, I think I summed this up. Um, I guess you can watch the flames for a while. And learn from my mistakes. That's why I do this. I do this test so you don't make a mistake. And everybody, any anybody who uh, does this, let me know and post the link that you're trying to make the Fluka stove. Or the Fluka rocket stove. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see y'all next, next round. Well, I had to just fine tune everything and I should have it perfect to where everything needs to be. I had to make sure the cans are complete, seal complete, shorter holes in, to the water tank to the, to the heater, fuel, the fuel to the fire. Make sure it's oh so short and I should be perfect. I just threw a stick in there full of oil. I use a, a stick for oil for measurement. It is kicking ass. Should have hot water now. Yep. Oh god damn the fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to cut that out. 